Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a little trick that I use to add nutrients to uh, my garden soil. And uh, this is a, a pretty simple thing to do and um, that maybe some people have not tried. But um, it's basically uh, using seeds and then sprout them and then use these sprout to sort of like feed your garden soil. So basically it's the same as like you saving your grass clippings and all that stuff, but grass clippings and other clippings do take a while to break down. While these here are really soft and tender and they break down really easily so the nutrients will be available for your soil very, very quickly. And uh, many of us would probably eaten melons and just throw away the seeds. So uh, melon contain a ton of seeds. So one melon could probably uh, produce this many seeds. And uh, when you cut it open, you basically uh, just throw it out. Uh, sometimes you put it in your compost, but uh, these right here as seeds form, when they break down, there's really not much in there. So what I normally do is I'll take the seeds and I'll throw it into a container or anything like this, for example. So this is a, a, a just a small container that I'm doing as an example to show you, but you can put it in a pot. I just throw a whole bunch of seeds in there and then in about two or three days, up to seven days, they'll start to sprout. And then this is around eight, 10 days here. This is how big they'll get. And at this stage here, you can just pull it up and then use it back uh, put it back into the soil bury it or throw it in your compost and then it will start to break down and then those will become nutrients for the soil so let me show you uh, what I've been doing when I pull them out all right guys so for the purpose of this video I did a very quick grow of these and uh, normally I was I would just throw a bunch of seeds into a container because containers are much easier to uh, put these in. You can put them into your raised bed if you like, but um, containers are the best because it's, it's, I guess it's easier to work with. And the seedlings don't need a lot of nutrients to sprout. All they need is basically a little bit soil to keep them uh, nice and hydrated. And then water and sunlight, and that's all they need to sprout. So uh, they don't, require like good soil and that's not the intention we just want them to sprout then we pull them up and then use those as uh, for compost so uh, here I threw a bunch of seeds as you can see here and uh, I have start pulling them up right here so I just basically just pick them out like this you can see and then once you have enough of them I mean, this is just a small example, but I usually throw a bunch, so I'll have like hundreds of these. And then we'll just take them, and uh, if you have a pot or a container or a raised bed, we'll just bury them. Okay, so here, for example, um, you can easily throw this in your compost, that's fine too. The worms will probably love this, and then these will turn into uh, rich soil quickly. So you can do that as well or you can just dig into your garden here and your garden will probably already have worms in there so then just bury it like that see these are very nice and tender and they'll break down very quickly like that and that would be nutrients for your soil just very simple uh, instead of just throwing away all the seeds um, try it this way and uh, let me know what you think I've been doing this for a while and uh, I think my garden really really <laughs> love uh, the, the additional nutrients that these things are adding back and I'm really not wasting anything so uh, there you have it guys and let me show you my friend here look at this he's just watching me doing some work these guys are really, really friendly, and uh, they, they'll let me get really close. Check this out. Look at that. That's practically right up to him. Uh, he just ran because I, I just started to speak really loudly, but usually he would just stick around. But uh, there, you, there you have it, guys. That's it. Try it out, and um, 
don't waste your seeds any type of seeds will work uh, anything that is organic broken back into the soil will become part of the soil and that's basically going to be nutrients for your for your for your raised bed for your ground or whatever um, same thing uh, with the grass clippings and leaves and all that stuff but these things are much more tender so they will break down quickly and then you worms will probably feed on them and then your soil will be rich that's it guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe